My name is Kristen King Brown. I'm the president of the Brady Campaign and Center to Prevent Gun Violence, and I am a very proud Weill alum. I grew up in a very political household, very political environment. So it was natural that I went to law school at George Mason University. Uh, but during that time, I also worked on Capitol Hill. And after graduation, I clerked for a year um, in the Western District of Virginia and landed at Weill because they focused on both regulatory law and litigation and had a great experience there. I have great memories of Weill. I was there from roughly 1999 until 2006. I started out sort of doing regulatory law and then switched to litigation. I think the Weill way was we'll put you into a case and we'll give you enough information to do a good job, but you're basically in charge and you're going to figure out how to do, uh, you know, the best advocacy that can be done. Um, but that kind of attitude, that can-do attitude, really served me well when I moved on to my next role as a general counsel of a company, which would not have ever happened if I had not worked a while. In April or May of 2006, that the managing partner of the DC office, David Burrs, approached me about an opportunity to be seconded as the general counsel of one of our clients, Gate Gourmet. And so when I joined Gate, one of the things that I was tasked with doing was growing the legal team. Ultimately, I was at Gate for eight years, and the team grew from about four to 30 people. And I'm very proud to say I was joined by other Weill alum. About 100 people in this country are killed every day by gun violence. So I wanted to think about what I could do about that. And oddly enough, my old boss called me and said, Brady's looking for someone to help lead the organization. Would you consider? About two years ago, I joined Brady. As a president, I helped lead the organization, help set strategy, uh, determine the direction. The Brady law is the law of the land. It ensures that background checks are conducted before the sale of any firearm. One in five guns today is sold without a background check at all. So we want to fix that. The other two programs that we have are to stop bad apple gun dealers. About 5% of all gun dealers in this country are responsible for the sale of 90% of all crime guns. And the third is we want to change social norms about guns in this country. For the 300 million plus guns, that we have here in the United States of America, they need to be safely stored. Eight kids a day are killed or injured with a gun in the home. So our campaign to end family fire provides unique content to uh, households across America to really drive home the importance of safe storage as a fundamental tenet of responsible gun ownership. The life lessons I like to impart to my daughters is that democracy is not a spectator sport. And they understand that if they want to change things, they have to become involved. This point was really driven home to me after the Parkland massacre happened. And uh, my ex-husband sent me video of CNN with our daughter in the protest. But ultimately, I think it's very important for me as a person to actually stand up for what I believe in. And I was very proud to see that Katie feels strongly that way, as does Sophia. And I think that is something that I hope all Americans really take to heart because our democracy actually depends on it.